please read this disclaimer carefully before proceeding further. Welcome traders to analysis of uh, indices. My name is Vic. Thanks for joining me here. Let's start with Dow and Jones. Um, it has been overextending. So let's see if we can find good opportunities for reversals or trend following. So right now um, we are looking at three month chart because the new quarter has just started. And this is looking very bullish right now at the moment in this candle, but I'm expecting it to turn down. Yeah, it, I'm expecting it to come down a little bit lower. It may turn into a bearish candle by end of April, but um, I, I do not expect this to go really, really high up. I am expecting some sort of resistance to kick in, some sort of sell off to come, come in in the, in the next three months or so. Um, if I go to the 12 month time frame, as I mentioned in my previous analysis, this is usually a sign of uh, reversal. Now, if we find good momentum to the downside, then this can very well turn into a like you know wick at the top and bearish candle, or at least like you know wick at the top and inverted hammer kind of candle. So that is a possibility on 12 month time frame as well. If I go to the monthly time frame, what I see that you know the market created this a good rejection from here, and then since then market has recovered, and this is again looking a little bit overextended uh, let's look at the weekly time frame on weekly time frame this was a very good rejection sign very very good rejection sign on weekly time frame and we cannot ignore it uh, once this sign has come in we are usually looking for a secondary sign to come in before we can look for a short position now because this market is has been going very really really high up and it has been defying all sorts of corrections and everything uh, we must wait for a confirmation on the weekly time frame. You cannot just trade it on daily time frame if you're looking for a short position if you want to build something, um, build a position. But obviously, if you're day trading or if you're like in a swing trading, short term swing trading, then obviously you have opportunities on both long and short side. But I, what I'm talking about is like you know building a position or if you're thinking of actually like you know uh, going for higher time frame, sort of like you know uh, short opportunities. So you should be aware of this. In any way uh, so this is the rejection sign which came in and we are looking for another reduction sign rejection sign on weekly time frame let's go to the daily time frame on daily time frame again this is looking overextended I'm looking for a move down into like you know something around here near about this 33 thousand 33, area or so and another reason behind that is because the market is creating a W pattern here and if I draw Fibonacci on it the market may come into this area of 34,000 so that's that's a very good level uh, where the market can come to but ultimately on weekly basis we are looking for a confirmation to go short but if you want to take a long then there is a still good possibility that it can but always wait for a confirmation before it actually starts to go uh, in either direction um, four hour time frame this kind of like you no know, broke out but again this is looking like overextended and i'm expecting it to fall down there can be a little bit of sell off um in the next um uh, next day or so so if you are long you should start managing your positions because it can actually start to go back down on four hour time frame let's look at it on water so on water time frame the monthly is obviously bullish everything is looking blue here and it is looking bullish if i go to the weekly time frame this profit target has already been reached uh, because we are bullish that means we are going to uh, meet more of a bull, bull targets this is the target which has been met and as soon as it hit that there was a rejection sign and now market is kind of overextending after that and we are waiting for another rejection sign if you want to go short if you want to go long then you still have opportunity if i go to the daily time frame this is where the market wants to go uh, the market is nearly there and uh, this is where the target was and market has nearly touched that so I'm expecting it to fall down and that also supports the analysis that I just did so that is why I'm saying like you know market can actually fall down the bullish target on four hour has already been met here on daily time frame has already been met and it is looking little overextended so there can be a little bit of correction here if I go to the one hour time frame that's the correction I'm talking about the market hit that particular level and started to go down and that is exactly where the profit target of water was so this is uh, what we have on us 30 let's look at it uh, let's look at um, s p 500 now okay s p 500 is where is that 
it's right here okay on s&p 500 we had this fcp zone and the market obviously has gone past that but that does not mean that this fcp zone is invalidated it actually came here and started to show some rejection sign and now it has gone back up it has gone like you know beyond that and remember we were targeting this uh, 4000 area there was nearly nothing no sort of like you know um, reaction to 4000 area which is which is usually a sign of overextension like you know because usually the market like you know behaves around something it shows some kind of reaction around those psychological levels this was a very strong candle which actually clearly broke through 4000 level now what do we expect we expect at least once it to come down and retest that 4000 level that is quite a possibility so you need to prepare for that kind of move if you are look if you are long you need to be aware of that kind of move we are still not too far away from fcp zone it is simply over extension if i go to weekly time frame or monthly time frame i still here right um, and the month has just started so you see it can actually create a, an upper wick and fall back down that is quite a possibility if i show you another thing which is happening on candlestick is this this candle can actually turn back down and can into can form into uh, an inverted hammer that is a possibility because it is overextended and we also had a previous rejection sign here if i go to the four hour time frame and bring it bring the orig uh, original analysis this is what we have been looking for right this is the hit the level has been hit the one that we were looking at and now it can fall back down into the fcp zone so what we are looking for is something like this it can if it comes down here we need to wait for a confirmation inside this fcp zone before it can fall down back into the 4000 so that's what we have right now this is looking very very bullish so you have to be very very careful if you want to take a short always try to follow what the market is telling you Okay, never try to fight the market because the market is always right so doesn't matter what kind of analysis you have done the market is always right so respect that if i go to one hour time frame do we see anything yes that's the rejection that we saw on the bottom we saw chart as well so if the market starts to fall down then these levels can be important here and if i go to the four hour time frame then this level is also very important for s p 500 so and if i go to the daily time frame then this level is very important okay and if i go to weekly yeah weekly is looking fine right so this is this is what we have uh, in terms of bullish scenario um, this is all the bearish scenario um, because I'm expecting a little bit of correction at least some correction to be there which may turn into a bigger correction going into 4000 once again but what we can do is we can draw fib extension on it and we see that it has come here the next level can be around 41412 uh, sorry 4142 so but right now this is reacting to this one and I'm expecting it to fall down um, at least for some correction so that's the us 500 let's look at um uh fitzy 100 all right fitzy 100 market came into this level of 6963 i'm not sure whether we um you remember that but uh, this is this is in the last um, analysis as well so the market has been following our analysis it has come to this level and then started to go to the next and I'm expecting it to go higher into this level if the market finds an bullish momentum right now this is going to react to the previous high obviously this head and shoulder did not work out so we have this W pattern and that means the market can fall down and if that is the case then we are looking for something like this uh, let me actually give you better levels so something like this and then we have oops this level obviously this one and we have another one here and then this level so that's what we can see on a us uh, sorry uh, 1500 if the market gives us enough confirmation then i look for a long position i am 
um, my personal bias on um, 5100 is actually bullish I'm looking to buy into this FCP zone like you know, all the way into the FCP zone here but I'm trading both sides on FTSE 100 so I'm going to be like you know looking for short positions anyway and on trade trading side I did short here um, on Friday and the last week uh, as well so this turned out to be a very good opportunity because we had this W pattern reaching the previous high so looking like a very good short opportunity here uh, which I took as a day trade let's look at the nifty okay on nifty um, this is actually very easy a lot of you actually have asked me to cover nifty nifty is very very easy right now because whenever it leaves a gap it comes back to refill it so now this gap has been filled there was a gap which was filled there was a gap here which was filled so all these these gaps look at this this is a gap which was got filled which got filled and in our telegram group I said like you know there are two possibilities one is that there is an M pattern here other one is there is a W pattern here right now this is working on a W pattern so if the market actually continues to go higher then we are looking for a move somewhere into something like this okay so let me give you that what level we are looking for okay so that will be near about the same FCP zone as before and there will be another level here okay so that's what we have so um, that's our analysis on indices. We have been able to cover Dow Jones, S&P 500, FTSE 100 and Nifty. Hope you enjoyed this analysis, found this useful. If you did, hit the like button and in the comment section let me know what you think about this analysis, what is your opinion on it and um, uh, if you have any feedback, any questions, let me know in the comment section and share it with other traders as well. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Uh, hit the like button and in the comment section let me know what you think about this analysis whether you like it or not what is your opinion on dxy and um, uh, do not forget to share and subscribe right you know because that's how you can help me and say thank you as well so thank you and uh, have a, a great trading week ahead and i'll see you in the next one if you are interested in learning how to analyze the markets the way I do using Fibonacci Confluence, then head over to Vikinsa.com and under training section you will be able to see Core Strategy Training Program. On this page you will be able to see the testimonials of previous students and also uh, look at the brochure. The brochure has a lot more information including the course structure and the Fibonacci Confluence Training Program curriculum. This is a very extensive program in which we cover basic core Fibonacci concepts along with the advanced concepts to analyze the markets with high probability. If you are interested in joining this program, come to vacancer.com and under training section you will be able to see and submit this form.